In this video, we will write logic for creating NFTs through the front end. Uh, this is done from the slash create page. So go to pages, create, and uh, this creation page is the one you see here. Again, I'm hard coding signer to be null here. And here, if the signer is null uh, or undefined, I render connect your wallet. If it's defined, if there's a signer, I render the creation form. And that's why uh, you see connect your wallet here. Uh, this is hard coded, so we have to grab it from the state. So use signer. And as you can see, uh, because the signer is defined, we render the creation form component. Um, the creation form is this one, so you can enter a name for your uh, NFT, a description, and upload the NFT image. Um, if there's a missing field, you get an error here. So um, this is validated. So every field is required. Um, again, feel free to see the code here for this creation form. But all you have, all you need to know is that when you click the create button, this on submit callback is called with the values that were entered in the form. So, for example, let's console log the values here. create um, so um, there is a bug so go to uh, creation form go to the creation validation schema and remove the price key here we don't have any price so uh, I forgot that and then uh, click create and uh, we got our values here so we got a description an image file and a name so what we want to do here is to get this metadata, this NFT information, upload it to IPFS, get that uh, upload URI and create a, an NFT using that URI. And to upload token uh, NFT metadata, I'm going to use NFT storage. So go to NFT.storage, create an account, log in. Again, you should be able to do that pretty easily and after logging in go to API keys again I don't care I'm just gonna expose my key here and go back to your .env file create a new uh, environment variable here let's call it NFT storage key and pass in your key so API keys like this, uh, we don't want to expose them. Uh, so we can't use them in the front end directly. Uh, we have to upload NFT metadata server side. That's why I created this NFT storage endpoint. So just to give a brief overview of this code, um, I instantiated an NFT storage client using the NFT storage key from uh, the environment variables. This is how uh, I parse the request body. I'm using formidable. And this is because we have an image. This is a multi-part file and we have a file inside. Uh, that's, that's why we need to do all of this. Um, if it was just strings, I would just grab them directly from the body. But since we have a file, we have to do uh, this. So I'm using formidable to parse the multi-part file. And then uh, the file is saved under slash temp. It's a temporary directory. And then again, I read that file from the temp directory to create a, a new file object. And by the way, this should be called file. And note that Node.js does not have file or blob classes like in the browser. So we have to import this file class from nft.storage library. And after creating a file from the temporary image, we call uh, client.store, passing in the name, the description, and 
uh, the file we just created. Uh, and this is how we upload the metadata to, to NFT storage. And after uploading, we delete the temporary file and then we return 201, which is the status code for created. And in the uh, response body, we return the URI, uh, which is the metadata.url. And one last thing, we need to disable body parser. Uh, body parser um, is enabled by default in Next.js endpoints. And this is how you disable it. So you export a config file uh, with these keys here. If you don't disable this, the formidable won't work. Um, I hope this makes sense. So yeah, we are going to call this endpoint from uh, our front end. So let's um, let's go back to the creation page. And instead of console logging the values, we should upload the metadata and then create the NFT. So we'll go to state folder, NFT market, and create uh, an index page, index.ts. So we're gonna use a hook, which will have all the logic related to NFTs. Let's call this hook, uh, use, NFT market and it's exported so let's create a function that will create a new NFT let's call it create NFT it's gonna take values of type creation values and uh, this uh, interface is in the creation form. So it has a name, description, and an image. So let's go ahead and call the NFT storage endpoint. First, let's create a data object. It's gonna be a form data. Let's append the name of the NFT, which is values.name. Let's do the save for the description. And the same for the image. Um, this complains because image can be undefined, but we're pretty sure that it won't be undefined here. So we can just um, add the exclamation mark here. Now let's call the endpoint, so const I'm just gonna use the native fetch function here. We're gonna call slash API slash NFT storage uh, slash API slash NFT storage. That's the name of the uh, the path of the endpoint. Now the method is gonna be post, and the body is gonna be data. And this should be, this should have a weight here. So this should also be async. Now if the response.status equals 201, uh, that's the status we return if everything goes smoothly, then we can get the JSON. So JSON equals weight response.json. And for now, let's just console.log token uri json dot uri uh, this uri that we return in the json we should always wrap everything in a try catch so the app does not crash now let's return an object with the create NFT function. Go back to the creation page and let's grab the create NFT function from use NFT market hook. And we can just pass it directly into as a as an on submit callback. Let's go back to the application. 
and let's try to upload some token metadata. It fails with 400. Um, let's check the logs. No such file or directory. Oh, uh, we should probably create a temp folder. So in the root of the project, create a new folder and call it temp. Go back, retry. Um, so I just restarted the server here and uh, retry it again and it's working. So click in create NFT, we'll print the token URI right here. So this should be working. Now all that's left to do is to call the create NFT function from the deployed contract, pass in the token URI. Right. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing we need to do is we need to make the NFT market address environment variable uh, exposed to the front end. So in Next.js, if you want an environment variable to be exposed to the front end, you have to append next public to the name of that variable. Otherwise, uh, you, it's not going to be accessible from the front end. So in the use NFT market, let's let's grab the NFT market address from the environment variable. So const NFT market address equals process.env.next public uh, NFT market address as string. Um, now let's create a contract object. So const contract or let's do NFT market equals new contract imported from ethers. So the contract class constructor takes the address of the contract, which is NFT market address. It takes the contract interface, which is the EBI. We can import it directly from the artifacts folder. We don't have one yet, so let's run npx hardhat compile. Now the uh, artifacts folder is there and we can do import NFT market from artifacts slash contract slash NFT market dot soul slash NFT market dot JSON and we can use NFT market dot ABI here and the constructor also takes a signer or provider. Uh, in case of transactions, we need a signer, so we can grab it from the use signer hook. So all the transactions uh, will be signed by the current signer here. Now, after creating the NFT market object, we can do the same stuff we did over and over in our tests here. So we can initiate a transaction by doing const transaction equals await NFT market dot create NFT passing in the token URI, which is the JSON dot URI. And this should be here. We can type this as transaction response right and then again we can do await transaction dot wait to wait for it to be mined and just like this we will uh, create an NFT from the returned token URI let's go back to the application it complains because the address is undefined maybe if we restart the server the error will go away mm -hmm. indeed so let's create a new nft
So the NFT metadata was uploaded and using the returned URI we called nftmarket.createNFT which resulted in this MetaMask pop-up. Now let's click confirm and wait for it. It's still loading here. And uh, boom, it's mined. We just created our first NFT. Um, there's no way to fetch owned NFTs yet. So that's what we are going to do in the next video. See you guys then.